So hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to change the port of your TeamSpeak free server. I already got the server here, if you don't know how to get your server, please watch the link in the description, which will be a tutorial on how to get it. So yeah, uh, we're gonna log into your server by using a program called Putty. Um, so we're gonna download that by going to putty.org. Why am I not typing, I don't get this. Putty.org, go to download Putty, or yeah, you follow this site. The link will be in the description. Go to this here thingy and press Putty.exe, the first one, and save it to your computer. I already have it on my computer, so I'm gonna take it up. Here it is. Um, we can start it up, and you also need to your server to be started up. So yeah. Now you're gonna connect your uh, default IP, which is your private IP. This you can find by going to run and type in cmd. And here you type in ip config. And you, this is the private IP, you see IP address. So you just copy these numbers, paste them in here. The port will be always 10011 or 111 if you'd like that. And also connection type will be telnet. But notice that when I change this, the port will change. So make sure before you connect that the port is right. And the connection type. Now we can take connect. You can also save this information by typing this in here. Take save. Then just click here. If it worked, you will get a yeah. It will look like this and say TS. There we go. TS for you to say. Now we're gonna log in and we're gonna use the password and the login name we got from the first tutorial or the first time. Yeah, we got that which we got from the first time you started your server. If you don't have it, watch my tutorial in the link. How to get your server? If it will also show you how to reset your server to get a new password. So we're gonna type in log not here. We're gonna type it in here. Whoops, now we're gonna change this. There we go. I'm gonna type in login the server uh, the login name, which is server admin, and then the password. So it's big U. Yeah, it's case sensitive, so if, if you take a small M instead of a big M, it won't work. If it worked when you logged in, it will say error ed equals zero, which means there is no error and message okay, which means it's okay. Now, if you want to know, know some more so commands, just type in help, and here, here you have some commands. Now you're gonna choose what server you wanna change the port for. So just type in server list. Here you get the server, and I only got one, which will see here virtual, virtual server ed equals one. So now when you're gonna change the port for server one, you type in use uh, server ed equals one. And you see the error message is okay. Uh, now we're gonna type in server edit then virtual server underscore port and also if you got problems uh, following what I say I will have the party description in the description so yeah you can just see what I typed in and do the same and here you will take in the port you will want to use I want to use 27120 because I already got that port forward, so it will use it will work for me to connect to it. Now we can type in quit to close this, or just press the. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, just close it down in any way you want. Now you need to. Now you need to restart your server. So I'm gonna take it up, close it, and I know if it works for me because my. Uh, 
my antivirus should do something about it. Oh no, wait, I already done this a couple of times, so yeah, yeah, I think it's work. So yeah, they restarted a couple of times, like two times. Then try to connect to it. Uh, the port will be 27020. And the, yeah, or whatever port you change it to. And the IP will be the IP you have on your computer, which for me is myip.nl. Or you go to myip.nl and find out your IP. Control that. Click. Control. Copy that. Sorry, guys. Paste it in. Make sure there is no space between. The, this won't work because there is a space here, so make sure there is no space between the edge and the numbers. Press connect. There we go. I now now your friends also can connect to your server. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Also, be sure that uh, your uh, IP may change when you restart your internet thingy or your router. I don't know what what it needs to be restarted, but yeah, it may change. So if you can't log in, sometimes check your IP if it's right. And if that doesn't work, I don't know what the problem might be. But yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped. I will also post a video and post a video in how to do some stuff with TeamSpeak Free. Or some just basic stuff with TeamSpeak Free. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys and see ya.